Hi everyone, Intuitive Edge here. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. What's going on everybody? Now we've been hearing a lot in the news about the Biden administration's recent uh, workaround using OSHA and attempting to force a vax mandate on more and more people. So uh, this has a lot of people understandably concerned. So where is this gonna go? Is this mandate going to be enforced? Is it going to result in a lot of people having to make a difficult choice between the jab and the job? Or is it going to fall by the wayside? So let's check with the cards. I'm gonna shuffle up and we'll get started and see what the cards have to say about that. I'll be right back. I'm gonna lay out a couple of these and see how the cards blend their energies and what we have going here. Okay, so I know people are concerned and worried and upset about this mandate. I would like to help people not be worried. I am not worried about this. I do think that this is going to be short-lived. Um, I just spent some time looking several different spreads, trying to get several different angles to try to pare this down and condense this. And just trusting my gut on this, um, I think there's something else at play here. And it may not be completely as it seems. And I, I don't see this going the distance, okay? Um, that's just what I sense with it. So I did a couple different spreads, I actually did a couple of different decks and something that came up twice on what's kind of behind this, what's the hidden influence? Two different decks, I got the tower card on that question. The tower is things falling apart as some type of hidden influence. So I don't think there's a lot of stability for this mandate to go the distance. Um, I think it's gonna crumble at some point, whether that be through the courts or some other action. I don't think it's going to last. Um, people's attitudes about this, I got uh, regarding the average American and how they feel about this. Two different decks. One deck was the devil card. <laughs> which is they're not happy <laughs> They see it as bondage. And I also got the five of wands on that question with another deck, which is a card of fighting and chaos. So this is gonna piss people off if it hasn't already, and I think we're seeing a lot of that already, but this is really gonna piss people off. Um, I got the star several times, and I, I, I did a couple different decks, couple different spreads each, just trying to get a feel for what this is. And I kept getting the star underneath. The star being a card of hope. So I really don't sense that this is like the time to lose hope or to be afraid or to be concerned. I think this is a time, in fact, I asked a question, let me find it, um, about how people should, I'm looking through my notes here, how people should respond, and I got the High Priestess. That's a card of your intuition. And for me, it was like, that's go with your instincts, trust your gut. And she's blindfolded, so it's like, don't, don't look at all of this that's going on and let it get you off center. Just go within, go with what you know to be true for you and stick with that. And hold on, because I, I really think that tower card is gonna mess things up with this somehow, and it's not going to last. It may look scary for a day or two, or a moment or two in time, but it's not gonna last, okay? That's, that's what I'm feeling with this. So I, I thought, okay, I gotta, I gotta do at least one spread for the, for the video here, because I was doing all kinds of stuff on my own. It's like, all right, I gotta show you guys what I'm doing here. So I picked the broader view spread, and uh, so we're gonna look at the issue. We've got the world card on it, 
this is a global thing, obviously. Yes, it affects the United States with Biden coming in and, you know, throwing his weight around or whoever's behind Biden. But this is a worldwide problem and a worldwide issue of domination and control that's trying to get a foothold. Now, how to how to deal with that, how to understand it, this this card. The Page of Swords is about mental clarity, um, dissecting truth from falsehood, and not getting yourself caught up in gossip or hearsay, but sticking with the truth of what you know. And so with all of what we're seeing, that's going to be the challenge for a lot of people is to not get caught up in the drama of it and to just stay true to yourself and what you know and hold on to that. You know, the, the boogeyman can be all scary all day long, all he wants, but it doesn't affect you, okay? Now people are saying, but it does affect me because it's my job. Hang on, okay, just hold on. I really feel like this is going to shift. We have the emperor up top and that's on the question of what's coming into view We've got this, this law and order, basically. Establishing order. Um, bringing order in, out of this chaotic situation. And it's facing away from what we've, what we've been through. It's like it's, it's, it's seeing a different perspective. So I think there's some sort of law and order that's gonna bring a different perspective with this. Maybe it's the courts stepping in and the courts saying, okay, we're going a different direction. This is not, this is not how we're going to go. We have what is fading away from view. Um, this is a card of taking a break, rest, apathy. It can be, I think showing that person asleep here. <laughs> And if that's fading from view, maybe people are waking up from their slumber and say, you know what, this is, this is important. What should be done? The wisdom to gain. And this is taking everything that you have and creating what you want to see and not listening to the gossip, not listening to what you're what you're seeing, but trusting your inner wisdom. And the culmination is the Six of Wands. I call this card the Triumphal Entry. This is a card of recognition, a card of reward, a card of seeing results, a card of someone coming in and being recognized as doing a good thing, moving in to change the direction. I think that could be where this is all leading. Perhaps that's where this is leading us, positioning us into a place where something's going to have to give. It's like, that squeeze that I talked about in the week ahead video where things are like feeling like they're kind of being compressed and squeezed. Sooner or later, something's going to have to give. Uh, eventually, the bottom's going to fall out or something's going to change. And I think that's what we're seeing play out here. So I want to encourage everyone to not jump to the worst possible scenario conclusion. Just hold on, see how this plays out. I do think that this is going to be short-lived. I don't think it's got enough steam behind it to make a lasting impression, to make a lasting stand. I did kind of sense when I was feeling into this intuitively, I felt like they, meaning those that are trying to do this uh, rollout, the, the, the evil powers that be, you know, the ones that are behind the scenes manipulating the governments of the world and all of this, 
They feel the rollout was abysmal. Okay, I felt that. They're not happy with the rollout of the V. Um, they feel that more people, they, they really felt that more people would have been scared of the C virus and would have ran to get this V. And there was not enough buy-in and they're not happy about it. And no amount of the bribes, lotteries, donuts, cash, furniture, um, all of that didn't seem to help either. And so that's what's driving the push right now. Because they didn't get enough people saying yes. And I got a, almost got a picture in my mind of like somebody, a number cruncher person. This person was using formulas and figures and statistics and trying to figure out what percentage of each country's population needed to take the V. We need a certain amount of people to do this. Otherwise, our whole campaign's a failure. And that's how they feel. So that's what's driving the push. That's why they're doing everything they can. And, you know, you, you really have to, to take a step back and ask why. Especially these Western countries that are being so heavily pushed. But what about the, the, the specific people they're pushing? Uh, doctors, nurses primarily, first responders, firemen, policemen, teachers. Those are the people that for, for all intents and purposes hold society together. Why would they target people with a V if it is a weapon? Why would they target people who hold society together? Kind of makes you wonder. Are they targeting people who hold society together because those are the people that we rely on? That kind of goes down a big rabbit hole. I'm not sure I want to go down that road right here, right now. <laughs> but I just wanted to throw it out there for something to think about. Okay. Um, Enough people are saying no. That's why they're pushing hard. And I really I really don't see it moving in the direction that they want. So, this will play out for a little bit, but there's there's some type of something coming. All right, I'm going to leave that here. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge. Bye for now.